What's up, Fit Body Nation? So this is day two of our brand new six week series. We've got brand new exercises. They're gonna push you, you're gonna feel challenged. So just like the last workout, there's gonna be some modifications you can do. Just gotta follow Coach Sarah. If you haven't yet, check out the new hoodies for men and for women. And if you're brand new to this channel, I wanna be the first one to welcome you. I am Trainer Ben, this is Coach Sarah. So this is a different type of workout channel. We do home workouts, but at a whole different level. We also do something called the Home Fitness Challenge. We've got 16 challenges. Those challenges are meant to be done throughout the six weeks. Your goal is to get through as many of those challenges as you can in the next six weeks. When you do those challenges, you build points. Those points put you on a live leaderboard where you compete against myself. You compete against Sarah and you compete against the Fit Body Nation community all over the world. All right, Fit Body Nation, so for today's workout, if you're brand new, here's what we're gonna be doing. We've got four circuits and inside of those circuits, we've got four exercises. We'll spend 30 seconds on each one of the exercises and we'll go through that circuit three times. Then we're gonna rest for two minutes that's where I'm gonna explain the next four exercises, and then we'll start into the circuit number two, circuit three, and circuit four. Two of the circuits are loaded with high intensity exercises, and two of the circuits are loaded with weight training exercises. Today, the muscle training exercises that we're gonna be working on are gonna be focused on the biceps and the triceps, hitting these guns. Here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a dumbbell. We're gonna start the workout with a warm up. The warm up will last three minutes and then we're gonna get straight into this workout. Are you ready? Ready. All right, let's rock this. We're gonna start with a light jog like we always do. So this is only gonna be about a three minute warm up. We usually don't go too crazy with the warm ups here. We stick to about three minutes every time, just enough to get the blood flowing. We won't get too technical with the warm up either. So you're not gonna just wear yourself down. We try to save most of the strenuous work for the actual workout itself. So high knees on this. Let's pick up the speed just a little bit. Start getting the knees a little bit higher. There you go, good. Now from this, I want you to take it into squats. Keep your feet right at shoulder width. Drop it down and right back up. We will hit the entire body with our warm up though because we're gonna be hitting everything today with this workout especially during the high intensity part. And hopefully you like these exercises. I always like the feedback, so make sure you're dropping in the comments below if you're enjoying these exercises. I know they're challenging for you, but let me know. Let me know what you think about them. Whoo, there we go. Nice and low, you don't have to speed through this part. Believe me, you're gonna wanna save that energy. I can guarantee you. There we go, nice and low. Good. Now, I want you to drop it down. We're going to take it into push-ups on this. So drop it into a push-up, straight body or on your knees. Go down about a moderate pace. I don't want you going really fast, but I don't want you going really uh, slow either. Just kind of in between, down, right back up. Good control on this. There we go. You got this. Come on. Perfect. Whoo, so how you feeling for Monday's workout? Doing good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling from Monday's work? Hopefully you're feeling a little bit tight. I know I'm feeling it a little bit, but nothing too bad. All right, now we're gonna take it into mountain climbers on this one. So lock it out, push up position, switching left to right, left to right. We've got about uh, 45 seconds left of the warm up. So we'll do these mountain climbers. We'll take it back up into jumping jacks and wrap it up with those. Go left and right, keep it moving, five seconds, good, you got this, come on, just getting the muscles loosened up, getting the blood flowing, now back up to your feet, nice and slow, into jumping jacks, all right, so like I said, we'll have about a minute from the time we stop the warm up to the workout itself, so if you need to get some dumbbells, grab some, Sarah and I, we're gonna use 20 pound dumbbells, or I am. She's gonna use 10 pound dumbbells, but for some of the modified exercises, she's gonna be using water bottles. So make sure you've got a lighter weight. In three, two, one, relax, catch your breath. Okay, so our first four exercises that we're gonna be doing, the first one is a power hop 
with a bear crawl, all right? I'm gonna call this one the alien, because it looks like it. So for this one, and Sarah will do a modified version, pop up, jump forward, drop it down into a bear position, walk it back to where you started, drop it back on your knees. Sarah's gonna walk it up, and then from here, she'll jump forward, drop it down, walk it back. The second exercise is a straight body push-up to a knee push-up. Straight body to a knee. The third exercise, you're gonna need lighter dumbbells on this one. I'm gonna use one 20 pound dumbbell, Sarah's gonna use a 10. You're gonna do a jumping jack, and as you do it, you're pushing the weight out. Okay, it takes a lot. And also a good shoulder burner. After that, we're doing a squat with a dumbbell punch. I'm gonna use 10 pound dumbbells, Sarah's using the water bottles. For this one, we'll squat low, push to the right, squat low, push to the left, across the body. Okay, 20 seconds till we start. So again, if you wanna modify, watch Sarah, or you can watch me either way, or you can modify even more if you need to. Especially if you're just starting out. We're gonna start in five seconds. So get into position, make sure you got a little bit of room for the jump. Two, one, here we go. So down into that bare position, crawling backwards. Drop it back to your knees. Good. There we go. 30 seconds of this. You should be able to get down and back at least two or three times, maybe more than that. Jump as far forward as you can, however much room you got. Good. There we go. Come on. From this, start in a straight body push up position. So straight body, one push up, down to your knees, another push up. Straight body push up, down to your knees, another push up. Now the first round of each circuit, it's always the learning round. So if you gotta start slower, just to see what we're doing, feel free, okay? Round two and three, we'll get a little bit faster. After this, grab a dumbbell, because we're doing the jumping jacks with the push out. All right, so grab one dumbbell, for this one, a jumping jack, pushing the weight out. When you're split with the jacks, that's when the dumbbell goes out in front of the body. Takes a lot of cardio. Ooh, takes a lot of shoulder strength and a lot of core strength. Ooh. If you get to where you can't use the weight you have, just use your hands, pushing them out and back. All right, I'm grabbing 10 pound dumbbells. Bring the dumbbells up, right here. We got squat, push to the right, squat, push to the left, squat, push to the right, squat, push to the left, squat, push to the right, squat, push to the left. Good news is we get to rest after this. Here we go. Five seconds. Hey, relax, 30 seconds. All right, we made it through the first round. So like I said, that's our learning round. Now the second one, let's get a little bit faster. Starting back with the power hops, forward jump, reverse bear crawl, okay? Three big movements. Whoo! All right, let's get ready for this eight seconds. Doing good. In position, three seconds. Here we go. Get back, stay in that bear crawl position, which means your body's squared off. I think you're trying to jump all the way down to me. Woo. And get explosive, jump as far as you can. Here we go. Come on, everything you got in these. We've got our straight body to knee push ups next. Woo. I may have to modify. Oh. Alright, so straight body push up, and then on your knees, a knee push up. You don't have to go super fast with this one. Ooh, it's still difficult, but it's not nearly as exhausting as that first exercise. Come on, get them in. Perfect, push on your knees, straight body, six seconds. We got our jumping jacks coming up next. And up to your feet, grab a dumbbell. So here we go. 
There we go. It's hard to talk on this exercise. So you want to try to keep the dumbbell up chest level. It's going to want to drop. Try not to let it drop. 12 seconds. Ooh, this one's a tough one. This one will push your lungs and endurance to the max. Guaranteed. Ugh. All right. So squat, dumbbell punch. Ooh. These 10 pounds are feeling pretty good to me. So if you want to go up and wait, you can. Just make sure you keep it clean form. Ooh. The water bottles work well. I actually wish I had the water bottles. Five seconds. All right, 30 seconds. Shake it off, catch your breath. Then we good. So we got one more round on this. And then we have our two minute rest. And then we're gonna be going into bicep work. All right. So the bicep work, you better catch your breath. It's not too bad. All right, nine seconds, back in position. Make this last round your best round. Go your hardest. Here we go. Come on. That's it. We got this, come on. I just got the first strip of sweat going. You sweating yet? There we go. Keep pushing. Come on. We got our push ups, straight body, and knee push ups next. All right, here we go. Push up. Hand your knees. Good. Push up. Drop it to your knees. Here we go. Looking good. Keep pushing. I know you're getting exhausted. I can feel it already. First round in, like I said, we're gonna burn those 500 calories. Ooh. Here we go. All right, up to your feet, grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna grab a 10. I'm hurting. All right, here we go. Good. Come on. Got the sweat dripping. I'm loving it. How are you feeling? What size weights are you using? You got 10 water bottles. Your hands, a t-shirt, a 70 pounder. What do you got going on? Ooh, six more seconds. Come on. Squat with a dumbbell punch. I'll take it. Here you go. All right, here we go. Squat low, punch and turn. Punch and turn. Don't punch anybody next to you. If somebody's standing next to you. Please don't. <laughs> Can't say I didn't warn you. All right, here we go. I know I'm slowing down, so let's pick our pace up. Just a little bit for the last five seconds. Ooh. All right, relax. So we got two minutes. I'm gonna explain the next one. So I'm gonna use 20 pound dumbbells. We're gonna start off with a right bicep curl and press. That way we can start toning up these biceps. We're gonna spend 30 seconds on the right arm. Then we're going to do hammer curls with your back against the wall to keep you from cheating. You curl it up, right back down in a hammer curl format. Then we're going to do a left curl and press. And then the last one will be in a squat hold position. Bicep curl right there. All right. It's basically a four exercise superset. Pretty much 80% focusing all on the biceps. All right. We got about 70 seconds left. Catch your breath. How you feeling? Doing good. You're not sweating nearly as much as I am. Woo! How you feeling on your end? You good? All right, let's get that fist bump. Woo! We should have did our flex when we got started. We didn't even get that. Let's get that flex going right here. Get that energy. I want to make sure we start with that flex and we end with that flex. All right, 50 seconds. I didn't hear your girl. There we go, there we go. I always tell her it doesn't count unless she growls at the camera. <sighs> All right, we got 40 seconds. Okay. So now, starting out, right bicep curl, hammer curl back against the wall, left bicep curl with the press, and then a squat hold curl. Then 30 seconds of rest. Should we hold those weights so we're ready for the hammer curls? 
You can if you want, I'm not. Doesn't matter. All right, I'm using 20s, Sarah's using 10s. Whoo! All right, we ready? Yeah. 15 seconds. Get a quick drink of water. All right. All right, five seconds of counting. All right, so curl it up and press it. Now, with the curls, when we're working the, the weight training exercises, which we do every single workout, we always do the high intensity and then we always do the weight training, but the weight training, you can go slower. This is to focus on building muscle mass and toning and strength, all right? The high intensity is for just focusing on burning fat. All right, so that way we get a two for one combo. Let's curl it up and press. Now, grab your other dumbbell, back against the wall, okay? Keep your tricep against the wall as well, which is the back of your arms. Bring the dumbbells down, and you have to go slow. If you don't, you'll put a hole in the wall. That's why it keeps you from swinging when you do this, all right? Hammer curls is one of the easiest exercises to swing and cheat. You may not even do it on purpose, but it happens a lot. All right, but when your back's against the wall, can't do that. All right, now continue with the left curl. And press overhead. There we go. Just curl it up. Press overhead. And after this, we're going into a squat hold position. And we're going to do those bicep curls. There we go. Good. In our next round, we'll go for a few more reps, but we're still not going to go super fast. Going to focus on that form more than anything. And good. All right. Squat down. Squat hold position. Weight on the heels. And then you're curling it up. There we go. Perfect. Now, you're going to have a tendency to look down at the ground when you do this. That's what your body's going to naturally want to do. Try to keep your chin up a little bit. You can still look down, but try to look up. That'll keep a better form. It'll keep your back a little bit straighter as well, so that way your neck's not curving. And relax. All right, you got 30 seconds. So now, there's blood flow in the biceps. You get that tiny little pump going. The next set is when you're really going to get the major pump. So this set, let's pick our speed up just a little bit. Not a whole lot, but let's try to squeeze out two more reps on each exercise. Now that we know exactly what we're doing. Capiche? Yep. All right. We got eight seconds. All right, I am going to hold both uh, dumbbells this time so I can transition a little bit faster. What Sarah said going into this, Whew. especially so we can get more reps. All right, now I think I did four or five reps the first time. I'm going to try to get six clean curling presses out. There we go. Oh, yeah, I'll get about eight at this pace. Now, if you get 15 or 20, you're going way too fast. Shoot for eight to 10 reps. That is about the max on what you're doing. If you can get 15 to 20 reps, get a heavier dumbbell. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, see, Sarah knows what we're doing. Hammer curls, back down. I told you she doesn't ever forget. She always remembers. I would've went right into the left curl. But now, this is a super set. You're gonna feel the burn the most on the right side because we just came out of that curl. But I still want you to keep your pace up. Try to get those six reps. It's going to burn like no other. All right, now left curl and press straight into it. See, I told you, this is when you start to get that burn, you start getting that pump. It always happens with the second round. Your body spends that first round getting all the blood flow there. Good. Come on. From this, we're going in that squat hold position and we're doing those inner bicep curls. That's it. Come on, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, drop it down that squat. Weight on your heels. Curl it. Back down. Curl it. Back down. Whoo, are your biceps growing? I bet they are. This one's tough. This is a tough round. Our last round will definitely be the hardest, but it'll be our last round for biceps. Because our final circuit, we're going to focus on our triceps. Gonna get these arms tank top ready. Six seconds. Good, keep it slow. Ugh. All right, 30 seconds. Definitely get some water. Whew. 
All right, so you started on any of the 16 challenges yet? If you have, comment that below as well. Let me know which one you've started with. Have you chosen an easy one to get going with? The, get the points moving, get your name on the leaderboard, or are you going for a bigger one? Because each one is worth different points. All right, four seconds. I'm gonna start with the left bicep curl this time. Mix it up versus the right arm. All right. I'm gonna change it up. As you long as you're getting, left. as long as you, yeah, we did. As long as you're getting both arms in there, it's okay. You can start with the left or right side. Ooh, I feel like my left arm's being not getting the same pump. I want to make sure it gets that burn. Oh, my right. left is more tired than is my right. It? Yeah. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Good. Come on. Keep curling. And hammer curls back against the wall. All right. Nice and controlled. Don't put any holes in your wall. If you do, don't comment below. I don't even want to know. Here we go. You want to breathe out while you're curling the weights up. During the hardest part. Woo! Feel that burn? Oh yeah. I can barely do my chest. You got it, you got it. Make sure you stay against that wall. That's your body wanting to swing. If you notice your back's coming off, your arms are coming off, that's your body wanting to swing. And it will. That's why I always say hammer curls are easy to cheat. I've seen people do like 100 pound hammer curls, but whew, the form was awful. Because in reality, 20, 30 pounds takes a lot of strength to do those. All right, keep pressing. We're going to be in that squat hold position next. Getting our last set of these curls. All right, here we go. So drop it down. Last set. Then we've got our two minute rest. And then we're kicking it back into that crazy high intensity. So see if you can get six good reps out on this. Ugh. Come on. Breathe a little, make some noise. Grunt if you need to. Don't worry, nobody's going to watch you. Especially if you're doing these workouts at home. Like most of you are. Come on, four seconds. All right, relax, shake it off. I know the arms are burning. That's good though. Kick your dumbbells out of the way. This next one, the very first exercise, you're gonna need a little bit of room, only six feet or so. So what we're gonna start out doing is we're gonna do quick feet, right here, quick feet. When I say split, you're gonna hustle to the side, you're gonna drop down, touch the ground, you're gonna hustle back to the center, back into quick feet. Next time I say split, or whatever word I make up, you're gonna go the opposite direction and back to the center, okay? Sarah and I are gonna to attempt to go opposite directions and see if we can stay in sync on that. Next is gonna be a bear plank to a push-up plank. No push-ups though, okay? So you'll start in a bear plank, which means your body's squared off, Knees are close to the ground. When I say push-up plank, you lock it out. Push-up position. Back to a bear plank. Back to a push-up plank. Okay, we'll transition between those. The next one, it's very similar to the first exercise we did. I'm gonna do this version. Jump to here. You're gonna jump over, drop it down, push-up. Drop to your knees, back up. Burpee over, drop it down, back to your knees. Sarah's gonna do the standing modified version. After that, we're doing a single leg wall sit. I'm gonna do a 15 second hold on each leg. Sarah's gonna do an alternating kick, okay? If you can't do either one of those, do a regular wall sit. I'm winded just explaining those to you. All right, we're gonna get ready for the quick feet. I'm gonna let Sarah make the call on these. She's gonna be standing front and center right here. I'm gonna be behind her. I'm gonna to go to my left, she's gonna to go to her right. So when she says, what are you gonna say? Side, I guess. All right. Said split. Right there. Do you wanna be off for each other? Nope, right there. All right, quick feet. Split. And then back to center. Quick feet. Split. Quick feet. Crank it out. Come on, 10 seconds. Quick feet, split. Quick feet, split. All right, bear plank to push up planks. So bear plank position, good job, good job. So bear planks, your starting position. 
and push up plank. Lock it out. Straight body, butt down, head up. Keep your shoulders over your hands. Bear plank. Square position. Keep it there. Push up position. Perfect. We've got eight seconds. Bear plank. All right, three seconds. Now the power burpees. All right, so start on the side. I'm going to pop up over to the side. Drop it down, burpee, push up. Start back on your knees. Up, go, down, push up. Knees, up. Now you can put a dumbbell down or something to jump over if you want. I'm afraid I would trip over it if I did that right now. But that is an option. Four seconds. We got our single leg wall sit. All right, so get next to the wall. If you don't have a wall, just do a squat hold. 15 seconds. And you want to try to keep your offset leg, even if you're doing fast kicks, the leg that's up, that knee should be above your opposite knee. Switch. We do have our 30 second rest coming up. Got a side stitch like I'm in high school again. Whew. Definitely push it on this one. Him relax. Like I said, we're going for that 500 calorie burn today. We're gonna get there. Heck yeah. We're gonna get there. Ooh. All right, 22 seconds. Starting back with our quick feet. Sarah's still gonna make the call on this one. <sighs> yeah, this time, if I stand just slightly, I'll stand with this foot on the line. You stand with your left foot okay. on the line. Same thing, you still make the call. Okay. <sighs> All right, you ready? Are you ready? Quick feet. Crank it out, crank it out. Quick feet, split. Quick feet. Get them going, split. Quick feet, split. Quick feet, split. Quick feet, five more seconds. Keep those quick feet going. Crank them. All right, bear plank, bear plank. Jump it down. Here we go. Keep it there. You got this. Keep it there. And push up, straight body. Keep your core tight on this. Keep your back tight. Abs tight. Drop that butt. Drop your hips a little bit. And back to a bear plank. Keep those knees. Honestly, try to keep them just two inches off the ground. Keeping that body squared up. Four seconds left. We got our power jumps next. All right, power burpees, whatever you're going to call them. Start on your knees. All right, here we go. Jump over, down, get that full burpee. Back to your knees. Over, down, burpee. Ooh. Ooh. Keep them going. We got our wall sit next. Keep going the wrong way. I'm going to get right over. Ooh. Come on. Here we go. To the wall. All right, single leg, 15 seconds. I'm gonna have to modify too. All right, I'll tell you when we get to 15 seconds, if you still hold it like that. All right, we have 15 seconds. So if you're not doing the modified version, switch. Oh, legs are burning, ribs are burning. You ready a good workout. Yeah, I did, I was sweating, big time. All right, relax, 30 seconds, we got one more round. One more round, and then we're gonna be playing with our triceps, and then we're done, before trainer Ben loses his lunch. Not really. All right, 18 seconds, 18 seconds. Again, Sarah's gonna make the call on the quick feet. Oh, so listen to our split. Oh man, eight seconds. You got this, trainer B. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. All right, guys, you ready? Quick feet. Split. Quick feet. Split. Quick feet. Split. Quick feet. Split. I try to go on a little job. Come on. Quick feet. Crack them out. Split. Bear plank, bear plank. Drop it down. Bear plank starting out. 
Hands, straight body. Good job, good job. That's it, that's it. Fair play. Straight body. Fair play. Perfect. Straight body. Fair play. Almost there. Straight body. We've got our power burpees coming up next. Fair play. Yeah. All right, here we go. Starting on your knees. Here we go. Hop it up or walk it up. Jump over, drop it down, burpee. Back to your knees. Hop it up, over, back down. To your knees. Hop it up, over, burpees. To your knees. Hop it up, over, burpees. There we go. If I throw up on one, it'll be this one. But I'm going to push hard to the end. All right. Let's get to the last set of the wall sits here. And our son actually woke up, so Sarah had to run off and take care of him. We do have kids, obviously, and it is nighttime. So he woke up. She may make it back for the last part of the workout, but no guarantees on that. All right, so let's keep it locked out. We're going to go ahead, switch legs. Good, 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 good. You got this. We've got our two-minute rest coming up in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and relax. So our next ones that we're gonna be going into, it's gonna be for the triceps. We're gonna be killing these triceps. We got biceps with the second circuit. So now we're gonna finish off triceps, back of the arms, dominate this workout. So here's what we're gonna be doing. You're gonna need your two dumbbells. We are going to be in a locked position right here, push up position. You're gonna pull the dumbbell up. You're gonna kick it straight back. Bring it down to the ground. Pull it up, kick it back. We're going to spend 30 seconds on the left arm, then we're going to do 30 seconds on the right arm. Once we get done with that, we're going to do skull crushers. So we'll be on our back. I want your hips up off the ground, dumbbells overhead. You're going to bring them down to the shoulders and right back up. You can go down to your head if you want. That is why it's called a skull crusher. But it's safer just to go down towards your shoulders. Then the last one is a wide kickback. I may use the 10 pound dumbbells on this. I don't know. I'm going to show you on them though. For this one, we're going to be bent over, head up, and you're kicking out wide to the side. So normally you would kick straight back like that. For this time, it's nice and wide. You can kind of see what my arms are doing. All right. So we got 44 seconds till we start. So put your dumbbells where you're going to be using them. Get some water, or whatever you're drinking on, your go go juice, doesn't matter. All right, Whew. we're gonna get this thing going. 30 seconds. This is it. This is our last and final circuit. So three rounds on this. Three rounds, then we are done for our second workout here. All right, you ready for this? I'm pumped up. Let's get it. Let's finish it, make it happen. Whoo! All right, 14 seconds and it's go time. Go ahead, drop it down. Let's get into position. All right, we're gonna start in five seconds. So left arm only. All right, so row it up, kick it straight back, bring it down. Row it up, kick it straight back, bring it down. Row it up, kick it back, and down. Row it up, kick it back, and down. Up, kick it back, and down. We got 10 seconds on this, come on. Kick it back, and down. We're gonna be going right over to the right arm next. Ah. All right, switch, right arm, here we go. So pull it up, kick it back, right back down. Good control. Up, kick it back, right back down. Good. Now again, only six, seven, eight reps on this. You're not going really fast. There's no reason for that. Kick it back, and back down. Up, kick it back, right back down. Whoo, we got this. We got skull crushers next. So let's go ahead, transition. So on your back, hips up off the ground, bringing those dumbbells down towards your shoulders, right back up. Bring them down to the shoulders, right back up. Very good. Come on, keep those elbows pointed up. And down, right back up. Good, we got this, come on. Perfect. Almost there, and up to your feet, so transition quickly, grab your dumbbells. So for this one, 
Taking them nice and wide. Whew, you're going to feel those triceps in there when you get these. You still want to keep your elbows up when you do these. Slow your movement down a little bit so that way you're no, not swinging at all. Kicking them out, bringing them down. Almost through our first round here. We got two more coming up. <coughs> Good. Kicking it, bringing it back. Kicking it, bringing it back. All right. What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, I didn't miss anything. Okay. I was like, did I mess something up? Nope, we're resting. So 20 seconds. Whew. All right. So now going back to our row with a kickback. 30 seconds on the left arm, 30 seconds on the right arm. All right. Two rounds left. I'm getting worn out. I'm forgetting things. All right. Five seconds. My brain's playing tricks on me. Here we go. All right. So row it up. Kick it back. Right back down. Row it up. Kick it back. Right back down. We're going to focus on this one side only for the 30 seconds. Then we'll do the other side. Row it up, kick it back, right back down. Row it up, kick it back, right back down. 10 seconds. Row it up, kick it back, right back down. Good. Row it up, kick it back, back down. All right, switch to the right arm now. Here we go. Perfect. Up, kick back, and down. Up, kick back, and down. Up, kick it back, and down. Woo, nine seconds. Good. All right, so transition on your back. Here we go, skull crushes. Uh, hips up, let's go. Perfect. So bringing those dumbbells down, control them, going right back up. We're almost finished with this. We're so close. From this, we've got our wide kickbacks. And then we've only got one more round. Here we go. Come on, make it happen. Make it happen, make it happen. Four seconds. Oh, good. All right, so grab your dumbbells, whichever ones you're using. I'm going lightweight, baby. Kicking back. Right here. Keeping it nice and wide. You want to try to keep your head up. I know you're going to want to look down at the ground when you do the kickback part. It's natural. But you'll have a little bit better form, cleaner form, if you keep that head up. And I definitely have to tell myself to keep my head up. Good. Four seconds. All right, relax. We've got 30 seconds. So we got one more final round. With the row and kickback, row and kickback. School crushers, wide kickbacks. Then after that, we are done. Definitely feeling it. Getting a good pump though, feeling great. All right, we got 16 seconds and counting. Final one. Let's make it happen. In position, get your dumbbells ready. Come on. Last and final one will be done with this Wednesday workout. Three seconds. All right, here we go. Up, kick it back. Down. Up. Kick it back, down. There we go. Down, up, kick it back, down. 15 seconds, halfway on this one. Seconds are just chopping off. Going quick. Ah, let's suffer together well on this. Five seconds. Oh. All right, here we go. Up, kick it back, and down. Kick it back, hand it down, up, kick it back. Here we go, we got school crushers next. We're about 90 seconds away from being done with today's workout. Kick it back. It's definitely not easy, but you can do it. Five seconds, get ready to transition quickly. Come on, here we go, hips up. All right, let's see what kind of reps we can get for this last round. That's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, six, seven, we've got eight, nine, 10, there we go, come on. 11, 12, 13, up to your feet. All right, wide kickbacks. 
Last one, last 30 seconds of work right here. Then we're officially done. Kicking back, come on, let's get some reps out. Three, four, make them work, make them work, make them work. Five, six, that's it. Seven, eight, nine, come on. You got it. Ten. Whew. Ah, that's it. And that wraps it up for today's intense workout. I appreciate you spending the time working out with me. I know we're getting these results, so let's get this flex finisher in here before I forget. <sighs> Make sure that you subscribe below, especially if you like this type of workout. And most importantly to me, leave a comment below. Comment, let me know out of the 16 challenges during this six week series, which challenge you're starting with. Are you gonna go for one of the smaller ones? Not worth as many points, but you can get your name on the leaderboard quickly. Or you're going to go for a bigger one so you can get more points. Just may take a little bit more time. We'll see you back here on Friday. Love you guys. I will see you then.